good to see you again. My name is Abby with Hyde Park Presbyterian Church, and today we are going to go over our Bible story. Now, this story actually makes me think of sometimes in my life, and maybe this has happened to you. So my question is, have you ever had a situation where maybe you didn't necessarily follow the rules or expectations of your parents? Maybe you didn't obey them when they asked you to do something? Sometimes that ends up resulting in getting uh, like a punishment or a negative consequence, like a timeout. In the story that we're going to be reading today, we're going to hear about a very famous character from the Bible who didn't necessarily do the right thing or follow God's expectations and ended up kind of having to take some time to think about his actions and make a better choice. Before we go into that, though, I want to remind you of our Bible memory verse today. It is from 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 24, and it says this, Fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. Consider what great things he has done for you. Now in this verse, it asks you to do three things, right? It says to fear the Lord. And remember, when we say the word fear in this case, we're talking about being in awe or respecting God. It's kind of like when you were to see someone that you might really respect and maybe they're like famous and you see them and you're like, oh. it's that kind of moment of being in awe or fully respecting God. It also asks you to serve him faithfully with all of your heart. So making sure that you follow the expectations that God presents for you. And it asks you to consider the great things that he has done for you. So thinking about all the blessings that you have in life and recognizing that those are gifts from God. Maybe this is something that uh, our character today should have uh, done before he made these bad choices. But let's go ahead and dive into the story so we can uh, talk about that further. The man we're going to be hearing about today is named Jonah. And this story actually comes from the book of Jonah in the Bible, chapters 1, 2, and 10. It says, God spoke to Jonah, Jonah, I want you to go to the city of Nineveh. Preach to the people. They are doing evil things. That means they're sinning and not doing what God asked them to do. After hearing God's instructions, Jonah left, but he didn't go to Nineveh. Jonah tried to run away from God. He got to a ship headed for Tarshish, away from Nineveh. Jonah disobeyed God. When the ship got out to sea, God sent a strong wind. The wind made such huge waves that the ship almost broke apart. Even the sailors were afraid as they felt the ship tossed back and forth in the sea. They all began praying to their own gods. They threw everything they could over the side to make the ship lighter. Where was Jonah during all this? He was sound asleep. The captain came and said, get up and st uh, start praying to your God. Maybe he will save us from this terrible storm. Jonah knew that God had sent the wind because Jonah had run away from him. The sailors on the ship said, what terrible things have you done? Where are you from? And what very powerful God do you serve? I serve the God of heaven who made both the sea and the land, said God, Jonah. What can we do to make this stop? The strong wind stop? asked the sailors. They knew the ship couldn't last much longer. If you throw me overboard, the sea will calm down, Jonah told the men. The sailors picked Jonah up and threw him overboard. Immediately, the sea began to calm. The Lord had a huge fish come and swallow Jonah. Inside the fish, Jonah prayed. God, I promise I will do what you ask. After three days and nights, God told the big fish to spit Jonah out onto dry land. God spoke to Jonah again. Go to Nineveh and preach. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went immediately to Nineveh to preach God's word. All right, at this point, we're going to go ahead and take some time to review the Bible story that we've just heard but I definitely want to encourage you to take some time. If you're with anyone else in the room, if you have uh, some time to talk to your parents, your family, anyone else with you, 
about the story that you've heard. This is a great opportunity to talk about the word of God that is told through us through the Bible. And this, um, along with many other stories, are incredibly important to talk and learn about more. So my first question today that I want to ask you about our story is this. What did God do or what did God ask Jonah to do at the beginning of the story? What did God ask Jonah to do? He asked him to go to Nineveh, a place where people were sinning and doing evil things. Jo uh, God asked Jonah to go there and preach to the people in hopes that they would eventually change their ways. Next, I want to ask you, how did Jonah disobey God? Do you remember? Jonah ended up getting on a ship, going to a whole other city, totally disrespecting and disobeying what God had asked him to do, but instead doing whatever he wanted, which was not a good thing. My last question for you today is this. What caused Jonah to change his mind and obey God in the end? What changed Jonah's mind? It was the fact that he saw the power that God had. He saw how God brought the winds over the boat and it, uh, brought this huge storm. He saw the giant fish that ended up gobbling him up. And while he was in the belly of this giant fish, this all, all, like as big as a whale, he sits there and he prays to God and says, I will do whatever you ask. It was in that moment that he was kind of in time out himself, right? He took some time for three days to sit there and realize that what he did was not right. He had chosen to disobey God, and he wanted to make things better. So he told God that he would do whatever God asked, and he would obey him. So when Jonah got out of that fish, when he was spit up back onto dry land, he went directly to Nineveh to go preach to the people, just like God asked in the beginning. Now I want to bring us back around to our Bible memory verse, which says this, Fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. Consider the great things he has done for you. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Have a great week.